Huh, Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. Oh no, not screwball again. Come on. Don't tell me you're out of jail. I sure am, and I brought some of my fans. Oh, I hate her. Aren't they just the cutest? They're helping me set up for my new show. In fact, I'd love for you to swing by TTYL. Something tells me those guys weren't released for good behavior. Better get over there and check it out. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I didn't like the screwball mission we had to do in the first game. Like, I, I, <laughs> I did not like it at all. She had to, like, you had to take pictures of QR codes or something, and it, it was, yeah, it was a nightmare. Time to put screwball's fans back behind bars where they belong. Go check it out, guys. Hey, didn't I <laughs> no? Well, first time for everything. Hi, round boy. One thing hasn't changed. Screwball's getting others to do her dirty work. What's that? What are they setting up anyway? Hmm. Spider-Man! What's that? Oh, man, I hate this chick. <laughs> It's funny that they they put her in this game. I mean, I guess I I'm not too surprised because Christos Gage wrote this, and you know he worked with Dan Slott, and I think that's where they kind of brought in the character in the comics was during their run. But in the game, she's she's quite annoying. Like obviously un, intentionally annoying, but uh, but annoying nonetheless. Oh man, screwball challenges, man. Not what I wanted to do with my day. All right. Unranked. Let's do it. All right. I think my web will disable them. No, god dang it. Here we go. Bang! All right. Got one. Gotta keep moving. And oh, look at that! A photo bomb. Better get over there. For those watching, if you like what you see, don't forget to boom. Much better this time. Oh, 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Come on. Nice. <laughs> wow. You know what? Two, I'll take them. I'll take them. <laughs> I'll take the two challenge points. Uh, or the three. I guess we got three challenge tokens. I might have found Black Cat's next target. Whew. Man. I can already tell this, uh, <laughs> some things in this DLC are going to get on my nerves. And the side missions are definitely going to be them. Don't let her play you again. Yeah, I'll be on guard. She's... I don't know. She just seems to bring bad luck wherever she goes. Black Cat brings bad luck? That's a little on the nose, Pete. Yeah. But it's true. I think one of Hardy's old stashes is around here. Ah, there it is. Jeez. How many times I swing by this thing? Alright, let's go do this random crime and then we'll go do the main story. I'm curious. Did Hardy have any family? Yeah, a daughter, Felicia. You don't say. I know what you're thinking. She might be the new cat. She is the new cat. Hasn't been caught yet. The police got her suit and equipment last time, but they just missed her. I don't know, it doesn't track. When I interrogated Hardy, it sounded like he really loved this kid. Didn't want to mix up his work. Oh, hmm. really? Good to know. I'll keep an eye out for more stolen paintings. Sounds like Daddy didn't want daughter following in his pockets. Yeah, but she still did, so. Alright. Go do the next story. Hello, everyone who's lurking. I understand a lot of you guys are probably at work right now, uh, but feel free to jump in the chat if you'd like. Cops have blocked off the whole street. Keep me company. Um, but uh, yeah, this is my first playthrough. Obviously, just came out today the DLC of Spider Man The Heist. And I heard it's maybe about a couple hours of material, like maybe three hours or so of, uh, of main story gameplay. Which is pretty cool. I don't know if I'll play through all of it today. We're at one hour in already. Um, so I don't know if, how what far we'll get into it. I got, Unfortunately, I got other things I got to do today. Even though it's my day off, I would love to just play this all day and beat it. But uh, I don't know if I'll be able to. But if I don't, we'll come back Thursday evening and beat it. Um, I get out of work at like 3 on Thursday. So I'll come home, like walk my dog, and, uh, and then we'll like load it up um, like around 4 or 5. There's nothing else I can tell you. Oh, oh, really? Hmm. Antique book. Looks like it's volume two of a set. Where's volume one? There's a high end pawn shop owned by the Macho family around here. Felicia already took two data drives from other families. Did she just take a third? There Working and lurking. What's up, John? What is up? Uh, yeah, no problem. Work and lurk away. Ah, here we go. Magnesium flare. Probably what burned that guard's eyes. If I analyze the residue, I can track her. Science! Boom. Oh, there's a delay, all right. <laughs> Got it. Uh, all right, fine. You can have a victory. Let's see where it leads. Take your victory. But I said it before your comment popped up, just for the record. I mean, technically I can be, but... I need to tell MJ. She'll know what to do. But how am I going to tell her? A tie works for me, but we both know who really won here, and she's drinking a Diet Coke. <laughs> no, you, you can have it. God dang it. Um, the Ralph Macchio crime family. You can have your victory, John. It's fine. It was it was earned.
You tell, you tell him if he messes with the Machio family, he messes with every Karate Kid. Have you seen Season 3 of Daryl yet? i almost done over here. I have. And the reason I'm not talking about it too much on this episode is because obviously spoilers for people who might watch this later on YouTube. Um... But I have, and I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. We, uh, my roommate and I, started it on on Saturday night. We watched four episodes, like from like 9 p.m. till you know 1 a.m. or something. And then we woke up the next morning at like 10 and picked up where we left off. And we watched until I think 3 p.m. So we got to episode like 10 or 9. We finished nine, and then my roommate had to go to church for like three or four hours. And uh, when he came home, you know, we, again, it was like 9 p.m. to 1, we finished it. So, yeah, we finished it last night. It was awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, no spoilers, but I'm loving it. I'm glad. I, I thought it was fantastic. Um... Yeah, it was a really, really good season. Yeah, pound my face in. You guys know how to talk dirty. Does he? Boom! You guys been struck by a smooth criminal. actually hurt that much. Oh wait. I forgot to switch uh <laughs> I forgot to switch webbing. The electric ones help though. Good job, electric webs. Um but yeah I'm 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 glad you're digging it too. It's uh it's a very good season. Great. And I heard that they were like um canceling I think Luke Luke Cage and Iron Fist got cancelled. Which um you know, I don't know. I guess I guess it makes sense a little bit. Um, I would have liked Luke Cage to get a third season, but honestly, I'd be okay with them combining Luke Cage and Iron Fist into like a Heroes for Hire show. Or I think Jessica Jones is doing. She, she's filming season three right now, and Punisher season two has already been filmed. Um, so I wouldn't mind like maybe one show to wrap up all the Netflix stuff. Like, you know. Um, Maybe do like one show called Heroes for Hire, and you have like Daredevil and Karen, and uh, you have all the characters from whoever from from uh, Daredevil, and then you have uh, Luke Cage and um, and kind of his characters, and maybe you do like an eight episode season called Heroes for Hire, and just kind of wrap up everything. Um, that'd be kind of cool. I don't know if they will. Uh, I think they're in the. I don't think they're going to do anything with Luke Cage or Iron Fist because, from what I understand. Uh, it was like halfway written of uh, uh, Luke Cage season three. I think it was like six episodes in that were like a, like approved scripts and it got canceled. Uh, so people were like ready to work. Like they were in pre-production and it got canceled. So uh, I don't know. I find that interesting. The fact that it got, it got shut down in mid pre-production, you know? So that to me, that to me seems like a sign that uh, the show won't come back in any form. But Heroes for Hire would be, ah, oh, man, it's what they should have done in the first place. So that's a missed opportunity, big time. Um, Luke Cage getting his own season, that was that was good, that's fine, the first season. But then after that, they, and Iron Fist, I mean, unfortunately that show was so bad. What they should have done after that is just just done Heroes for Hire. That's what season. That's what season two of both those shows should have been. Um, but I mean, obviously, I have the power of hindsight. <laughs> no one thought Defenders was going to be a bad show, but uh, I didn't like Defenders at all. 
I didn't think it did a good job juggling all their characters. Like, um, I didn't find it very interesting. The story. Is that Miles? I forgot Miles is has spider powers. Uh, so why isn't he hanging out with us? Why aren't we training him? Hey! Oh! Come back, little birdie! No, not the pigeon game again. What is happening? This pigeon. Got him. Oh, the pigeon took the painting? What? I found another <laughs> what? They really made me work for that one. Uh. Uh. I have a theory. Anyone get the feeling that maybe Mackie, Detective Mackie, is Felicia Cat's dad? Uh, Felicia Cat, Felicia Hardy's dad? And he said, "Oh, he like Hardy died swimming at you know trying to escape from a prison." What if he did it? What if he came up on shore and took on a new identity? And became a police officer, and decided to turn a new leaf. I, I kind of overreacted huh. the last time we talked. Ah, Not pigeon! Spider-Man's true enemy. Exactly yeah. We weren't together at the time, and it's not like I didn't date other people. Uh oh. Right. What? Wait, you dated people? Like, like plural? The point is, we're adults, <laughs> and there's a kid in danger. So let's get to saving him. I don't deserve you. I know. Okay, so I think I know what's on those drives. Years ago, the families agreed to a joint accounting database in order to keep the peace. Put all their assets in one place. And require all five data drives to access it. Mm. So Hammerhead steals Black Cat's son. And then forces her to steal the drive so he can steal the assets from the other families. Hammerhead's trying to get rich quick. And bankroll the other families in the process. We have to find that last drive before he does. I'm on it. I think one of Hardy's old stashes is around here. As long as the pigeon doesn't take it away. I found another Good work. You a badge. I'll have someone come and pick it up. So in your professional opinion, is the new cat similar to the old one? Well, she's clearly modeling herself after Hardy. Her style, technique. Hell, her grapple looks like an updated version of his old tech. Right. You guys had her equipment lockup for a while. She steals intellectual property, too. More like improves on it. Yeah, see, he's like, he's like, sounds impressed by her. Yeah, see. Way to turn it around on me. <laughs> game recognizes game. Spider-Man, you're a goofball. Um, yeah, I, I, that's my gut instinct. Is that like we're getting all of his paintings back for him? That's what I'm thinking is happening. Uh, and we're reconnecting him with his daughter. Ah, there we go. More art. And more pigeons. This guy was prolific. Detective, I'm sending coordinates your way. Another one of Hardy's old paintings. Thanks for that. I'll send someone ASAP. 
Why'd the old cat try to escape Rikers? Non-violent burglar. He had a shot at parole. Party got too big for his britches. Dimaggio wanted him to work for that. He said no. That got him on the hit list. Not a list you want to be on. Especially if you have a family. Dimaggio will target anyone to make their point. And that is why you are undercover as a cop. Makes perfect sense. Sure did. Was one hell of a second story, man. Obviously. So how'd you catch us? I'd like to say solid police work, but the more I look at it, the more I think he let himself get caught. To get away from the Magia? He must have known they could get him in prison. Sure. But the best way to protect his daughter was to take himself off the board. And it ended up being yep. more permanent than he planned. an old black and white gangster movie <laughs> all right well we got seven out of the ten paintings so let's maybe wrap this episode up with one more black cat mission and then uh, I may need to take a break for a little bit my head is uh, it's not doing so well and uh, it's like I'm facing even though the blinds are shut and they're thick blinds you can still see there's like a lot of light coming in on me and that's uh, almost Almost as bright as my spotlight, with that much sunlight coming right in. Oh, I do miss our little chats, but I've got to run. Uh oh. Oh no. But uh, yeah, I need to, uh, and maybe just not stare this way for for a little bit. So if uh, we don't come back tonight to play this, we'll come back um, like Thursday. Um, so I'll. Guess I'm doing this the old-fashioned way. Come on, I want to help. Off. If Hammerhead's got your son, you can't do this alone. Why not? I've done everything else alone. I'm saying you don't have to. Hey, what are you doing? Why won't you trust me? We worked together before. Answered your own question, didn't you? Hmm. Well, I guess I did arrest you. Felicia, why didn't you come to me with this? Well, it's not your problem. It's mine, and I'll handle it. Maybe I don't think it's a problem. Wait, unless you mean the gang war, because that's definitely a problem. <laughs> Whoa! I can take care of myself. Oh dang! What is she doing? Oh my god! <laughs> Shooter's finally rebooted. It's flipping time. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that uh, you know what? I just turned my brain off. I was like, you know what? Just just keep pressing the same buttons over and over, and uh, just do what the game says. Because the zip lining was not working for me at first, but uh, that time we kept finding targets, and it was nice.
more webs to do it. That did it. Now to get in close. Oh man, she's thank goodness she ran in a circle. <laughs> Cause uh, I think if she, if they if the game was like, oh, she's gonna do one lap and then that's it. You, if you miss her, then uh, we would have we would have lost. Now can we talk like human beings? Uh oh. This feels pretty human to me. I know what's on those drives you're stealing. Look at you. Brawn and brains. You can't give Hammerhead the last drive. Once he has what he wants, your son will just be a loose end. Let me help you. What are you thinking? Stall him. Give us some time to find your son. I missed you. Glad we're back together again. Not like that. Shame. <laughs> okay. You can probably give us a couple days, Max. How old's her son? I guess because uh, after she was... Your son is oh, a chance wait. Like later. For now, let's find him. When he's safe, we can talk about that. Keep in touch, Spider. Oh, wow. <laughs> Play. I'm just gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, man. Could you imagine that? They throw that curveball into this universe where uh, Sp Spider Man's the dad of Black Cat's kid, and he. Oh man, she's. Hey, get her this time? Yeah, she's gonna stall Hammerhead while we all try to find her son. Did she tell you if you're. She didn't say. Of course she didn't. Are you sure she's not just playing you? I know her. She wouldn't be working for someone like Hammerhead unless she had to. Okay, well, I'm gonna run that blip number you sent me. I'll let you know where it leads. Alright, fair enough. Ooh, I'm running out of steam. Time for a pick me up. Eddie's pizza. Eddie. Hey. It's our friend Eddie. Eddie. You sound hungry. You know it. Can I get the usual extra pepperoni? I'm on it. You want rooftop delivery? Yes, please. <laughs> Same rooftop as last time. Give me a few. I'll let you know when it's ready. Eddie, you're the man. Well, I'm waiting on Eddie. Pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Everybody talk about pizza time. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?